Cracky. Hi, welcome to CIS Compiler's Folder. My name is Sir Green, teacher from Katmon Integrated School, teaching Computer System Servicing, and I am also an advisor for the CIS Compiler's Club. Today, you will learn how to perform mensuration and calculation of data storage. Hi, my name is Chum, and I am your student for today. What is the relevance of mensuration? Well, mensuration is the process of measurement of the following data storage. So, how do you measure? First, observe the numbers with letters in each storage device, meaning, that is the amount of data that can be stored or saved in it. And that is what you call the capacity. These are the examples of data capacity. Okay, well, the letters beside them is what you call the unit of measurement. But take note of this, it is important that you need to understand each unit of measurement because later on, we are going to use that in performing calculations. Is that difficult? No. And for you to understand, take a look at this. Oh wait, there are dubies in abbreviation. Oh impressive! You are vigilant and I love it. But in order for you to understand the abbreviation, just take note of this. For bit is small letter B and for byte capital letter B. Again, for bit small letter B and for byte capital letter B. But, how do I know what unit of measurement is bigger than the other? Hmm, that is easy. That is why I'm here to help. Okay. For the highlight of this content, allow me to discuss this and listen carefully. Bit, short for binary feature. It is the smallest unit of information in computing and digital computations. Actually, a single bit can only hold one of two values, either 0 or 1. There's more! Take a look at this formula. Oh, got it. Is there an easier way to remember that? Of course, there is. Remember the mnemonics, Burger King makes great toast. The first letter of each word corresponds to byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte. Since we already know what is unit of measurement, capacity, and calculating and converting data formula, let us now have some sort of examples in order for you to understand and how to do it. These are the techniques that we are going to use in solving the problem. First, identify, strategize, set up, Solve, and of course, check. For identify, that is the question to what are you looking for? For the strategize, it is being asked on how will you solve it. And for the setup, just write down the math. And for the solve, of course, do the solving process. And for the checking, that is basically need to check if your answer is reasonable or makes sense. I think you can do it. Amazing. That is great. Now for the first question, how many megabyte into gigabyte? You can pause the video for a second to answer on your own and later on, let us check if we have the same answer, okay? So to answer this question, we are going to follow our technique. So what are we looking for? We are looking for the number of megabyte into gigabyte. For strategize, always go back to our formula. And that is our formula. And we know for the fact that one gigabyte is equals to 1024 megabyte. So, what fundamental operation are we going to use? Hmm, is it multiplication? Correct! You got it, that's multiplication. For setup, meaning 
we have 2 times 1024. And to solve 2 times 1024 is equals to 2048. Therefore, the answer is 2048 megabytes into gigabytes. Since we already have the answer, now, is the answer reasonable or make sense? Yes, I get it. Now, if you are correct, just raise your right hand. Sir, basic, I got the correct answer. I'm correct. Now kids, let's try another question. Oh, I'm excited. I think I can do it alone. Alright, that's good to hear. For the second exercise, how many 50 gigabyte file can be stored in one terabyte folder? You can pause the video for a second to answer on your own and later on, let us check if we have the same answer. Okay? So to answer this question, we are going to follow our technique. For identifying, what are we looking for? It's 50 gigabyte in one terabyte. That's huge enough. But for strategize, always go back to our formula. And this is our formula. And we know for the fact that 1 terabyte is equals to 1024 gigabytes. If that's so, what fundamental operation are we going to use in this problem? I think that's division. Correct! You got it. That's division. In setup, meaning we have 1024 divided by 15. And in solving, 1024 divided by 15 is equals to 20.48. But since we are only looking for the number of files, the final answer is we have 20 files of 50 gigabyte that can be stored or saved in one terabyte folder. Now, for checking, is the final answer reasonable or make sense? Yes, I get it. Now, if you are correct, just raise your right hand. Sir, basic, I got the correct answer. I'm correct. Thank you for helping me, Sir Grace. I think I am ready for the activity and quiz. But then again, in order for you to ace performing mensuration and calculation, always go back to our formula and follow our techniques. I hope that you learned today. You have a wonderful day. This is Sir Chris. Goodbye. Tracking.